Yeah. You feel like his relationship with your sister-in-law is inappropriate? I think that <laughs> that's a good question right there. <laughs> uh, I don't want to look back in five years from now and feel like he took something from me. No, I'm not dating Kylie. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm not dating that, so I just want to get that out the way. Man. I think they're in love, man. You can't, you can't, you can't tell nobody. Suggesting that Molly and Tyga had a relationship and that the rapper's girlfriend, Kylie Jenner, found out about it. I think he, I think he got in early. I think he was smart. He just decided, well, I decided that I'm really young. When Kylie Jenner was only 14 years old, she was taken advantage of by a rapper named Tyga. He is eight years older than Kylie, and he saw an opportunity to prey on a powerful minor. They attempted to keep their relationship a secret, but the truth was exposed. Tyga was a grown man trying to get with a 14 year old, and that's not okay. So let's get into it. Do you ever feel overwhelmed or stressed after a long day? Well, today's sponsor can help you out with that. Vance Global is a CBD and Delta 8 company based in the U.S. They sell Delta 8 THC gummies that can cure any bad day. You must be 18 plus to try these gummies, but they are 50 milligram each and completely vegan. So these gummies are made with pectin, not gelatin. They also come in a variety of fruit flavors. I personally love taking these gummies after a long and stressful day of work. They taste great and the effect is soothing. So check them out and use my code SL04N for any of Van Global's products. You'll receive a generous 20% off your order from their site. So shop their gummies, their CBD Delta 8 THC cigarettes, and much more. Thank you so much, Vance Global, for sponsoring this video and enjoy. So in this video, we're going to be talking about the inappropriate relationship between Tyga and Kylie Jenner. Tyga is an American rapper who is currently 31 years old. He signed with Lil Wayne's record label, Cash Money Records, back in 2008, and he's been making music ever since then. As you guys know, Kylie Jenner comes from the Kardashian-Jenner family. She's an incredibly successful 24-year-old who currently owns a cosmetics company, a skincare company, uh, a swimsuit company, a baby line. She's racking in a ton of money, and she's also been called a self-made billionaire. But recently, we've been talking about Tyga on my channel because he got physical with his girlfriend, Cameron, and it's not looking good. Tyga actually went to go and turn himself in because he had a $50,000 bail held against him. The allegations are pretty serious. Do you have anything to say to your fans? You want to, talk, you want to tell your side of the story? Did, did you invite her over or she came over uninvited? If you guys have not seen my video about Tyga getting physical with his girlfriend Cameron, definitely go and check it out because she had some injuries after their encounter. Tyga has been trying to save his reputation and he went to his social media page to declare that these allegations are false and that he was never arrested and that he's turning himself in because he is trying to cooperate with police. As for his ex-girlfriend Cameron, it looks like she's just been living her life. The paparazzi has been following her out and about and as you guys can see she still has this black eye and I feel like this was about a week after the incident so it looks like Tyga really beat her up. I really do hope that Cameron gets justice in this situation because so many rappers and Hollywood elites get away with way too much. Now let's switch gears and talk about Kylie Jenner's relationship with Tyga. Their relationship caught the attention of the public because their age gap was outrageous. So back in 2011, Kylie's older sister, Kendall Jenner, had a sweet 16th birthday party. Kylie was only 14 at the time, and Kendall wanted Tyga to come and perform at her party. So back in 2011, Tyga was hired to go to Kendall's birthday party, perform for all of her friends, and that's where he met Kylie. Tyga 
Kaiga was 22 years old at the time. And in one of the episodes for Keeping Up with the Kardashians, you could see Tyga and Kylie awkwardly flirting in the background. But what would a 22-year-old want to do with a 14-year-old? That seems extremely sketchy to me. So the couple meet at Kendall's birthday party. But then some time passes by and we start to see Kylie and Tyga together on social media. The public continued to question Kylie and Tyga's relationship because she was far too young for him. And on her 17th birthday, a video surfaced of Tyga giving her a shot of tequila. <laughs> That video started a media frenzy because people couldn't understand why a 20-something-year-old rapper would be interested in this teenage girl. Keep in mind that Tyga also had a partner, Black China, and they have a son together. Shortly after that video of Tyga giving Kylie a shot of tequila went public, he broke up with Black China, and she actually states that her breakup with Tyga was influenced by his relationship with Kylie. Black China doesn't believe that Tyga cheated on her with Kylie, but she does acknowledge that his relationship with Kylie did speed up their breakup. Even though it was pretty clear that these two were in a relationship, they maintained that they were not dating. But during this time when they were supposedly not romantic, they did things like go on dates together to go and see the movie Fifty Shades of Grey. Tyga also got a tattoo of Kylie's name. He was also invited to important family events between the Kardashians and the Jenners. So all of that was going on and they're still trying to convince us that they aren't dating. Tyga tweeted out on September 8th, 2014, don't believe the rumors, been friends with the family forever, we're all just friends, which with hindsight, obviously that's a lie because they end up dating down the road. That same year, the couple decided to dress up together for Halloween, which seems like something a couple would have done. So again, I'm not buying the fact that they were just friends at this point. But things got interesting when the rapper Drake posted a photo of Kylie at his home. It's not entirely clear why he did this, but it seemed to start a feud between Drake and Tyga. But I don't think Drake did exactly what he thought he was going to do because he didn't really damage their relationship. They were seen volunteering with each other before Thanksgiving, and then Kylie posted a photo of Tyga on Thanksgiving. So they're dressing up together for Halloween. They're hanging out on holidays. I mean, they're straight up a couple. And then for whatever reason, on December 11th, which is actually my birthday, Kylie tweeted out, I'm not trying to become a rapper. I'm not getting married and I'm not pregnant. So I guess at this point, there were a ton of rumors flying around. In February 2015, the rumors started picking up again because the rapper Drake decided to diss Tyga on his album. Drake released the album, If You're Reading This, It's Too Late, which throwback to that Chick-fil-A style writing. I still can't get over that he did that. But in the song 6 p.m. in New York, Drake decided to take a jab at Tyga and he rapped, I heard a little homie talking reckless in the vibe. Quite a platform you choose. You should have kept it inside. Oh, you tried. It's so childish calling my name on the world stage. You need to act your age and not your girl's age. No child is calling my name on the world stage. You need to act your age and not your girl's age. So Drake went in on Tyga, and I'm glad he did. I love when artists or rappers put a little bit of sass in their music. It gives me life. But at this point, both Kylie and Tyga were feeling a lot of heat for their relationship. I mean, one, Kylie was just a teenager, and Tyga also has Black China at home with their son, so it's kind of effed up that he left Black China for a teenager. And actually, Amber Rose went on to a radio show at that time, and she had something to say about their relationship. Yes. Tyga and Kylie, what do you think about that? Do you think Kylie's too young for him? He's Kylie's 17. bash is eight. The law thinks that she's too young she's for She's a baby. She needs to go to bed at seven yes. o'clock. <laughs> you guys have to keep in mind that Amber Rose was best friends with Black China at the time. So of course, she's going to go on there and defend her friend. And this is what she had to say about Tyga. He should be ashamed of himself. That's ridiculous. He he has a beautiful woman and a, and a baby. 
and left that for a 16 year old that just turned 17. Like, nah. And he still can't legally. So after Amber Rose did that interview and said that Tyga should be ashamed of himself, the media grew more and more interested in Tyga's relationship with Kylie. And one of Kylie's older sisters, Khloe Kardashian, decided to jump in and she tweeted out three sides to every story, his, hers, and the truth. I'm not passing judgment, but I wish others would do the same until they have facts. Chloe tweeted that out right after Amber's interview. So it was, of course, in response to Amber and the whole situation with Black China. And it seems at this point they were trying to do damage control because Tyga also did an interview where he clarified that he wasn't dating Kylie. You're smashing it now, you red shirt yeah. until she turned 18. <laughs> no, I'm not dating Kylie. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm not dating that, so I just want to get that out the way. And then. Tyga stopped by New York's The Breakfast Club on Monday and emphatically stated that he is not dating 17-year-old Kylie Jenner. The shit that they make up is like the craziest thing. Because they make you look crazy. They make you You floor the like, like Europe or somewhere, somewhere where it was legal yeah. to smash her. <laughs> yeah, people are crazy, bro. Like, I mean, you know, like I've been knowing her and her family for a long time. I'm calling BS because I think it's clear that both Tyga and Kylie were romantically involved at this point. But Tyga continues on in this interview and he tries to explain why him and Kylie are just friends and he tries to make it like a, a race issue or a, a cultural issue. I'm going to go ahead and play that clip right here. But you, you guys do, like you guys do spend a lot of time together so no, you can we, understand. What I'm saying is, you know... I, you Why know, people like, think that? Because, you know, and, and black culture is different. You know, if you hang around somebody, you smashing them. But like, um, you know, white people, white culture is different. You know what I mean? Like they they really um, are friends. You know what I'm saying? Like they'd like really, yo, this is my friend. So between Tyga's interview and Chloe's tweet, the family was doing pretty well at damage control and everything was going smoothly until Kanye did an interview. During this interview, Kanye exposed Tyga for being in love with Kylie. He also called Tyga smart for getting it in early with Kylie, which is really gross to think about. He's pretty much congratulating Tyga for scoring Kylie as a minor, as a teenager and getting away with it. The most alarming part of the interview came when Yeezy was asked about Tyga and Kylie's relationship. Mentioning Tyga, you're yeah. executive producing his album. Yeah. Do you feel like his relationship with your sister-in-law is inappropriate? I think that... <laughs> that's a good question right there. <laughs> uh, you know what I'm saying? I think that... Uh, I, think he, I think he got in early. I think he was smart. How creepy is it that Kanye is sitting there with a smile on his face talking about the fact that Tyga scored Kylie when she was just a teenager? And you guys may have noticed that there was an awkward cut in between Kanye's answer because for whatever reason, his response was cut out. But it was later revealed that he said that Tyga is in love with Kylie. That may have been an odd statement, but did you notice that jump cut? Kanye actually said more about their relationship, but it got cut out. Fortunately, that part of the interview has now surfaced. I think that, that's a good question right there. Uh, I think they're in love, man. You can't, you can't, you can't tell nobody. So it looks like Kanye threw a wrench into their plans because they were trying to keep Tyga and Kylie's relationship on the low low, but Kanye couldn't help himself. But at this point in their relationship, it doesn't look like Kylie and Tyga care anymore because in March 2015, Kylie was seen wearing an engagement ring at the airport. So she was caught wearing that ring on her left hand and that started sparking engagement rumors. Tyga also posted a photo of Kylie on his Instagram page and he captioned it, certain things capture the eye, but only few capture the heart. Again, suggesting that they have a romantic relationship even though they continued to deny it. So at this point, Kylie was still 17 years old. But on her 18th birthday at Bootsy Bellows, Tyga actually bought her a new Ferrari. <laughs>
after Tyga gave Kylie that gift, the public just started accepting the fact that they were a couple. They may never officially announce it, but it's clear that there's something going on. And after Kylie's 18th birthday, she went on a birthday trip, and actually Tyga joined her on this vacation. Then the couple were spotted again at the 2015 VMAs, and then shortly after, Kylie actually appeared in one of Tyga's music videos. Might take her home, go on dinner plate it, I don't heat it up, I don't microwave it, she already hot, she sizzle baby, no salt and pepper, she been the flavor. Woo. The music video was for his song Simulated, and at this point, everyone knew that they were officially together because they were getting super intimate in the video. So at this point in their relationship, everything was going pretty well because Kylie was finally 18 years old, so Tyga could go and date her publicly without being scolded for it. And even though the couple did seem pretty happy together at this point, Tyga got himself into trouble. So a 14-year-old singer named Molly exposes Tyga for sending her unwanted text messages. He thought she was either 17 or 18 at the time, and he was interested in signing her to his record label. OK Magazine published a story suggesting that Molly and Tyga had a relationship and that the rapper's girlfriend, Kylie Jenner, found out about it. In efforts to clear her name, Amalia and famed civil rights attorney Gloria Allred held a press conference in New York on Monday to reveal what really took place between the young teen and the rapper. The truth is that Tyga contacted me first. He direct messaged me on Instagram. I thought it could possibly be about my music, but he did not mention that in his initial communication. I thought that was strange. I began to feel uncomfortable when he asked me to FaceTime with him. He asked me to FaceTime three times, but I didn't do it. I'm speaking out today because I don't want what happened to me to happen to any other young girl. When 14-year-old Molly exposed Tyga for those messages, it was huge news because Tyga is dating Kylie Jenner, who's one of the most famous people in the world. So Molly went on to do a bunch of press about Tyga, claiming that his messages made her uncomfortable. And obviously it's not a good look because she's only 14. So Molly, along with her lawyer, did press conferences about Tyga and the messages he sent her. Molly said, the truth is that Tyga contacted me first. He direct messaged me on Instagram. I knew who he was, but I was surprised that he was contacting me. I thought it could possibly be about my music but he did not mention that in his initial communication with me. I thought it was strange, but I was thinking that he would bring that up in his next message to me. However, he did not mention it in his next message. Molly also said, I began to feel uncomfortable when he asked me to FaceTime with him. He asked me to FaceTime three times, but I did not do it. Because of my discomfort with why he wanted to communicate with me, I quickly stopped responding to him. It's crazy how so much can come out of nothing. Honestly, this whole situation with Molly is very confusing because she claims that she was uncomfortable and that he was hitting her up and that she was only 14 years old, but we don't really ever get to see like what he said that was oh so bad. And Tyga actually tried going out to the media to clear his name. And he claims that he only ever hit up this girl because he thought she could sing and he wanted to sign her. In that TMZ article, they got a hold of some text messages between Tyga and Molly. Molly, and these text messages suggest that Tyga was telling the truth. So here are some of those text messages between Molly and Tyga. We can't 100% verify that these are between them two, but it looks like they're just talking about, you know, going to the studio, uh, rehearsals, uh, singing. At one point, Tyga asks Molly for a recording of her singing that he can listen to. Uh, she talks about moving out to LA. He says that she should. She says that she's currently in Delaware. And this is the part that really, really irks me because he asks her how how old are you? She says, only 17. He says, whoa, when's your birthday? And she says, uh, May 22nd, uh, people think I'm older. He said, I thought you were way older. Keep in mind that she's only 14 here. So I don't quite understand why she's lying about being uh, 17 when she's only 14. It only makes it all so much worse. But nonetheless, he asked her to send him some music because he wanted to hear her voice, I guess, on a song. So that's pretty much all we know about the Molly situation. I did go and check up on her Instagram and it looks like she's still posting and singing and doing things like 
that, but let's go ahead and get back to Kylie and Tyga's relationship. When Kylie Jenner turned 19 years old, Tyga got her another car for her birthday, which does she need any more cars? Probably not, but he gave her a Maybach for her birthday, which is a huge purchase. Despite the whole Molly situation, it looks like Kylie and Tyga were doing pretty well. I mean, he just bought her a freaking Maybach for her 19th birthday. But actually the day before her birthday, a judge issued a warrant for Tyga's arrest because he wasn't paying rent on his home. It actually looks like Tyga was in a half a million dollars worth of debt. $500,000 worth of rent he owes on this house. So Tyga was renting a house in Malibu for $16,000 a month, but it looks like he wasn't paying his bills, so a judge issued a warrant for his arrest. I was reading a bunch of articles about this situation, and so many of them brought up Kylie's Maybach. They were saying that Kylie probably shouldn't get super comfortable with her new car because Tyga owes a lot of money. But then their relationship came to an end. In April 2017, it looks like Kylie and Tyga broke up. Reports claimed that they were taking some space from each other and currently in an off phase, so they were clearly not together. There was absolutely not one thing wrong with me and T. Him and I will always, always have a bond. There was no crazy fight. We just decided, well, I decided that I'm really young. I don't want to look back in five years from now and feel like he took something from me. So they break up in April 2017, and then in February 2018, we find out that Kylie gave birth to her daughter, Stormy Webster. And at this point, Tyga actually demands a paternity test. He claims that he and Kylie were getting physical with each other and that Stormy could potentially be his baby. There are actually so many people out there that believe that Stormy's father is actually Tyga because a lot of people believe that Stormy looks a lot more like Tyga than she does Travis. I'm not entirely sure who Stormy's father, but maybe we'll see whenever Kylie gives birth to her second child because supposedly Travis is the father as well. And if they look like each other, if Stormy looks like her brother, then they have the same dad. But if they don't, then maybe Tyga is the father. I mean, who knows? Comment below what you think about that situation, because I also think about Kylie's like a uh, uh, really hot like security guard at the time, and maybe he was the father. I mean, who knows? I'm sure at this point, Kylie would have gotten some paternity tests done and we would have figured out who was actually Stormy's father. So I'm guessing it's actually Travis Scott. And it seems like Kylie has been happy being with Travis. I mean, at one point, I did believe that Travis had a whole other girlfriend named Young Sweet Row. If you guys have not heard about this situation, definitely go and check out my videos. But I don't think Tyga was happy that Kylie moved on to Travis because I think he still really liked Kylie. So after Kylie revealed the birth of her daughter Stormy and her relationship with Travis, Tyga wasn't happy and he actually went to Twitter to announce that he no longer wants to be associated with the Kardashian family. Tyga also decided to go over to Nicki Minaj's Queen Radio where he insisted that he made Kylie Jenner and that she needed black people to F with her so that she could make it in the industry. Um, do you feel like you helped at all in putting Kyle's on the mid app? Big facts, no cap. Everybody know that. That's that's public. I Everybody don't know, knows. But a lot of men say stuff like that, Tyga. I mean. Well, I, what I would say about this, and I never spoke about it to anybody, but I speak about it to you, um, is that if you got to look at the before and after, you know what I'm saying? When I stepped in, and it was a lot of codes being taught. It was like. You, should, you can do this. You should start this. You should start doing your hair like this. You wow. Should do this. You, you should adapt because you need you need black people to f with you because you need culture. This, if you ain't got black people behind you, you ain't got nothing. There ain't nobody going to listen. You can't influence nobody. So I had a lot to do with all that. You know what I'm saying? Which did this, and I'm the one that helped her coming up with these colors on her, uh, colors and names on her, on her, um, what is it? The lip, the lip line thing. 
Yeah, and like all this, it was a lot of stuff, but it's like, I'm not that bitter type of person because God is going to pay me back. The universe is going to pay me back. In my opinion, Tyga is holding a grudge over this whole situation with Kylie. Maybe he's jealous of her incredible success or possibly jealous of her relationship with Travis Scott. Maybe he's jealous of both. But at the end of the day, he should have never pursued a minor. She was only 14 years old when he approached her at Kendall's birthday party. And I feel like he took advantage of a young Kylie Jenner so that she was ready to date him at the age of 18. And there's a name for that in Hollywood. We can't actually say it on YouTube, but it's G-R-O Groom. I mean, I don't know why we can't say that on YouTube. It's actually so frustrating because there are so many people out there who have been G-R-O-O-M'd in the system. So we should be able to talk about it. I mean, I even heard that Alicia Keys was uh, taken advantage of at the age of 14. So if you guys want me to talk about that situation, comment below. But here's my email. If you have any other video ideas for me, let's go ahead and open this PL box package item. It's super green looking. Like when I first saw it, I was like, oh, is this grass? I didn't really know what like what was going on here. Like here's grass, here's water, but it looks like it's from the Bo and Daisy show, which I'm not entirely sure what that is. Let me go ahead and look it up. So I found one YouTube channel called the Bo and Daisy show. I'm not entirely sure if this is them, but let's go ahead and just open this package. This one is packaged so well, guys. I'm not entirely sure how I'm gonna tear through this one. Okay, here we go. Um, also, I do wanna mention that I may look a little bit different in this video because I did have a procedure done to my chin. So I think I look a little bit like puffy and swollen here, which um, I just wanted to like come on here and just film because who cares, you know what I mean? I mean, some people would probably like take off this time and like not film and be like, oh my gosh, my, my chin. But like, I don't know. <sighs> Of course, looks are important to some people, and they're important to me too, but they're not like all that. So, oh my gosh, I really cannot get this open. What is this? Okay, let's go ahead and see what this is. Maybe there's a note somewhere. Okay, so it looks like it's actually some type of like box situation. I wonder if there's something in there. Honestly, I have no idea what I'm getting into right now, and I don't see a letter. So hopefully that will pop up at some point. Maybe it'll be in this box. Let me do a reveal with you guys so you guys can see it in case something jumps out and tries to attack me. How do you do it? Okay, here we go. Ah, uh, what's in it? What's in it? Okay. Oh, <gasps> is this a jewelry box? Oh my gosh, I need a jewelry box so bad. Did I say that to someone? How would you know? How did you know? <gasps> Look at these cute little stickers. There's a cat. Here's a cat. Oh my gosh, I think, and here's a little key for the jewelry box. Oh my gosh, this is legit. What is going on here? Okay, here's a letter right here. Dear Sloan. I hope you know how much you are loved and appreciated. It takes a lot of courage to do what you do and you do it with so much integrity. So thank you. Your love for animals and humanity is apparent. And I see such a beautiful soul in you. Aww. Oh, the kindness you show for small businesses and growing channels go way further than you know. So thank you for that. Oh my gosh, you're gonna make me cry. I have a very small channel and would be so grateful to get a little traffic sent our way. The Bo and Daisy show stars are Kitten, Bo, and Daisy. Oh, I'll link it below. That's the one I did find on YouTube. So cute. They are new loves of our lives. Oh, and would love to spread the cuteness and smiles around. Any positive criticism is totally welcome. So please comment away, folks. LOL. These these babies are very entertaining. I don't have any merch, so I'm sending this letter with a jewelry box for all the lovely things you receive weekly, along with some stickers for your sticker collection. They're of Bo and Daisy. Oh my God, these, these are their cats. Um, that's so sweet. So definitely go and check out their YouTube channel. I'll link it all below. Thanks again for always promoting kindness and for standing up against the bullies. Oh, thank you so much, Amy. Oh, you gave me goosebumps. This was so sweet. So this is literally their cat in the sticker. Like how adorable, like, oh my God, I would love a bunny sticker. And then here's some type of like, I think maybe their logo. Oh my God, their logo. That is so cute. What is this? You guys are literally like branded. Another kitty one. Oh my God. These are actually iconic. So I love them so much. And then look at this one right here. <gasps> This is so sweet. I love this jewelry box situation. I, I've been needing one for so long. So this is like exactly what I needed. And I'm just so incredibly grateful for it because I feel like this was a prayer that was answered because I've been looking for these like for a very long time and I like haven't committed to one just because they're kind of expensive. So thank you so much, Amy. Definitely go, ow, I hit my chin. Definitely go and check it out. Thank you so much. Go and support their channel and I will see you guys in a new video soon. Bye guys.